Hello, on. I have taken uh, I have been taking the data science of MCA fifth semester. Uh, till now, we have discussed the two units of data science. The unit three is of machine learning. The prerequisite and uh, of this course are introduction about AI and machine learning, scientific methods, processes, algorithm of ML, and some background of statistics and mathematics. The, there are some uh, course objective of this course. I have already discussed the primary objective of this course is to develop both theoretical knowledge on data science analysis skills, which can be applied to practical problems for explain how maths and information science can contribute to building a better algorithm and software. To develop applied experiences with data science software, programming, application, and process. So, uh, machine learning by me. Uh, basics. According to recent articles in Forbes, machine learning patents grew at a 34% compound annual growth rate, CARG, between 2013 and 2017, the third fastest growing category of all patent granted. International Data Corporation forecasts that spending on AI and ML will grow from 12 billion in 2017 to 57.6 billion by 2021. So, what is machine learning? Machine learning, as the name suggests, provides machines with the ability to learn autonomously based on experiences, observation, and analyzing pattern within a given data set without explicitly programming. When we write a program or a code for some specific purpose, we are actually writing a definite set of instructions which the machine will follow. Whereas in machine learning, we input data set through which the machine will learn by identifying and analyzing the pattern in the data set and learn to take decisions autonomously based on observation and learning from the data sets. Means, Machine learning is the ability when a machine can learn without by its own without being explicitly programmed. Means where, uh, we can say then that machine is learning with uh, some experience key with uh, if its performance is improving with that experience on a particular task. Key. So while machine learning is a vast topic, we, which will take more than few articles and courses, today we will focus on machine learning basics so that you know that what to expect when you dive into machine learning algorithm. Think of Facebook's facial recognition algorithm, which prompts you to tag photos whenever you upload a photo. Even voice assistants use machine learning to identify and service the user's request. Tesla's autopilot feature is another example. So how do machine learn? Well, the simple answer is just like we do, just like human do. First, we receive the knowledge from a certain thing. Then we keep on, I mean, uh, uh, keeping this knowledge in our mind. We are able to identify uh, the things in the future based on that knowledge. Suppose you see a flower. Once you see a, so many of flowers, the next time you will see the flowers, you will able to recognize that flower only. For what? The knowledge you have gained. For the flowers, the knowledge their knowledge was there in your mind so the next time you will when you will see that flower again you can you will be able to identify the flower also past experience helps us in taking decisions accordingly in future our brain trains itself by identifying the features and patterns in knowledge or data received thus enabling itself to successfully identify or distinguish between various things so here is the timeline how machine learning grow. Machine learning is not a recent phenomenon. In fact, neural networks was, were first introduced as a concept in a research paper in the year 1943. So uh, there must be a question. Although in early days progress uh, in machine learning was somewhat slow due to some high cost of computing, which made this domain only accessible to large academic institutions or multinational corporations like IIT, IBM and all. So there was also the fact it in, in itself was difficult to acquire for a company's need. But with the advent of the internet, we are now generating quintillions of data every day. Quintillions of data every day. Couple that uh, with the reduction in the price of consumption, we find that machine learning is more than a um, viable proposition. So let's try to plot a machine, uh, machine, uh, machine learning timeline with some of the notable events in the history of machine learning below. 
So 1950, Alan Turing created a test to check if the machine could fool a human being into uh, believing that it was he uh, it was talking to a machine. In this 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 was a very famous experiment by Alan Turing. He set the interrogator in one room and uh, placed the one uh, human and one machine in another room. And if the machine could fool, if the machine could fool the interrogator, the human, that he was, machine was reacting as a human, then he was able to, I mean, interrogator was believing that he was talking to a um, machine or a human, okay, or a human. So, during, after Turing experience, experiment in 1952, the first computer learning program, a game of checkers was written by Arthur Samuel. Then in 1957, First neural network for computers. The perceptron model was invented by Rosenwald, Frank Rosenwald, so, which was named as after his name Rosenwald's perceptron model, which simulated the thought processes of human brain. Actually, the uh, Rosenwald's perceptron model was inspired by the biological neuron, uh, the biological neuron that resides in our brain. Okay, in 1967, the nearest neighbor algorithm, the very famous K nearest neighbor algorithm was written. Uh, nowadays, we are using this. So, uh, and in 1979, students of Stanford University, California invented the Stanford card, which would navigate and avoid the obstacle on its own. In 1997, it was a very, I mean, challenge for uh, uh, and that IBM Deep Blue beats the champion, chess champion of the world, the Gary Kasparov. Uh, IBM Deep Blue uh, system, uh, I mean, uh, beats that champion. So it was, a, I mean, a revolutionary uh, change in the era of machine learning, in the uh, current era. So now, now in 22, 2002, software library for machine learning named name Torch, uh, PyTorch, is first released. Then 2016, AlphaGo algorithm developed by Google. DeepMind managed to win the five games out of five. Five out of five, uh, the machine DeepMind win in the Chinese board game in the competition. Okay. So there is a difference. Uh, there is some difference between machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence. Basically, AI is a superset, and machine learning and deep learning are subsets of AI. AI is a vast term, big term. So while learning about machine learning basics, one often confuses machine learning, AI, and deep learning. So what is AI? First, the ability of machines to automatically learn without being explicitly programmed. Not. AI is the ability of machine to simulate human behavior and take decisions intelligently uh, like a human. So according to a famous book of AI, Richard Knight, according to the I mean, uh, traditional definition, if a, when a machine is able to do, machine is able to do the task which at the moment the people do better. Okay. If we make a computers to do things which at the moment people do better, we can say that machine is artificially intelligent. La means if machine we will do everything what a human can do then machine is artificial intelligence and machine learning ability of machine to learn automatically without being programmed and what is deep learning deep learning is based on deep neural network when automatic future selection is there the complex data is there we are, we are using deep learning okay so in deep neural network uh, many hidden layers was there will be there and on each layer training will be there learning will be there there are some components of machine learning, how machine learning work, how we will uh, go with machine learning. So first of all, collecting and preparing the data. Data collection is very important step. The first step in machine learning basics is that we will feed the knowledge data to the machines. This data is divided into two parts, namely training the data and testing the data. Consider that we want to build a software which can identify a person as soon as their photo is shown. We start by collecting data that is photo of people. Now in this phase, we have to make sure that our data is represented, uh, representative uh, of representative of entire population. That is, if we conclude only adults from 20 to 40 years of age, the software will fail if it if it is shown a picture of baby. 
okay so the data is usually split into 80 20 or 70 20 30 to make sure that the training once sufficiently uh, trained can be tested later okay So next component is choosing after you build the data, after you prepare a data, the next uh, collect the data, the next component of machine learning is choosing a training model. This is the second step in machine learning basics. We have a variety of machine learning algorithms and models which have been created uh, and modified further so that it can solve a particular type of problem. Thus, it is imperative we choose and train a model depending on its suitability for the problem at hand. Next is third component is when we have made a model, we have collected the data, then evaluating a model. The machine learns the patterns and features from the training data and test train the itself to take decisions like identifying, classifying, or predicting new data. To check how accurately the machine is able to take decisions, these decisions, the predictions are tested on the testing data. Generally, we first work on the training data and once the model is sufficiently trained we use it on the testing data to understand how successful it is in recognizing the faces in the photo so next component is hyperparameter tuning and prediction so in machine learning terminology hyperparameters are the parameters that cannot be estimated by the model itself but we still need to account for them as they play a crucial role in increasing the performance of a model. Traditionally speaking, hyperparameters in machine learning model are the parameters which need to be specified by the user in order to run the algorithm. Classical parameters are learned from the data. Hyperparameters may or may not be learned from data. Means hyperparameters are uh, those parameters which, are, which cannot be estimated by model itself. Okay min made parameters so components of machine learning uh, for example uh, in a decision tree shown the hyperparameters are number of leaf nodes depth of the tree okay minimum sample required to split the node so scan image then we split into two uh, classes faces detected faces not detected baby teenager adult so these are these Leaf nodes are hyperparameters. This depth of the tree three is hyperparameter. Minimum sample required to split the node is hyper. 